company experience lesson, we are going to explain the structures of a virus, okay? Now, just a quick recap from yesterday. So, what are the different types of a virus? Well, there's a few examples. So, we've got influenza, measles, mumps. I've seen some of your work. Um, so, we've got COVID-19, uh, the Spanish flu, okay? So, there's lots of different examples there, okay? Now, characteristics. So, they don't actually have an organised cell structure or a nucleus, which means that they don't, uh, the genetic information isn't in a cell, okay? They typically have one or two strands of DNA, which is their genetic information. Um, and then they're covered in a protein protein uh, coat okay called a capsid which we'll go into in a bit long in a in a second okay and reproduction now viruses hijack the cells of living organisms or hosts okay and they do this by entering through the cell membrane they take over the protein building structures of the host cell so how how they reproduce and what they reproduce and force them to make the virus without the cell knowing so they then the cell is making more viruses and taking over more and more cells okay now i would just like you to have a look at these two viruses here okay so we have a bacteriophage and influenza now the bacteriophage the one on the left here infects bacterial cells okay and you can see the protein coat here oh where's my mouse there is actually arranged into the head so we've got the head here uh the tail and the fibers okay so it's a little bit different to the influenza one here okay and the actual genetic material in the bacteriophage is dna now, if we go over to the influenza virus, which infects mammals, birds, and humans as well, okay, or it's flu, um, this one's a little bit of a different shape, okay? And the actual genetic information, okay, here is RNA, okay, RNA. Now, viruses aren't made out of cells which me means the individual particles okay are called virions now these individual particles could be the genetic information and the protein coat okay now they are made up of a protein coat and it's also called the capsid now this protein coat surrounds the genetic material and keeps it safe okay then the genetic material is information that determines the structure of a virus, okay? So we have genetic material, so our DNA, and that produces our characteristics, for example, our eye colour, okay, our hair colour. Um, and in viruses, this is called DNA or RNA. Now, the membrane envelope also protects the genetic material in the life cycle when travelling between hosts, okay? Um, however, not all viruses have a membrane envelope, okay? So the bacteriophage here doesn't have a membrane envelope. Okay, and nucleic acid. This is found in quantities, so large quantities in all living things. So where they function to create and then store information, okay? So all around our DNA. Okay, so your task today, I would like you to draw a virus, okay? And then, well, it can either be a bacteriophage or the influenza, the one that we've just looked at. I have given you an example here of a bacteriophage, okay? So once you've drawn it, I would like you to label your drawing. So the different, um, so label with the particles, okay? Like I've done here, I haven't draw, I haven't labelled all of the different parts because that's for you to go and do yourself, okay? And then I would like you to write a brief description of what each part does, okay? So for example, down here, I've got descriptions. I've, I've not written an, a description for DNA and protein coat because you can go and find them yourself. There are going to be more there for you to write, okay? And I've just put fibers, I've given you a description there, so it's part of the protein coat, okay? All right, so I would like you just to go off and have a go for me, please. Thank you.